Ah, uh, why don't you forget about that? It's much safer. Tell me, uh, how do you like being a reporter? In the 1950s and 60s, the adventures of Superman soared on television screens with George Reeves donning the red cape, bringing Superman to life. This show not only won over audiences, but also set a standard for superhero portrayals. Amidst its popularity, a pressing concern led George Reeves to request the recall of the Superman capes being sold to children, prioritizing their safety over commercial success. Dad and taught it to Skyler. And I was right, too, because last night I guess I forgot to close the doors. Anyway, the 1952 television series Adventures of Superman was a pioneering project that brought the comic book hero to life on the small screen. Production took place in Southern California, utilizing the facilities at Archeo Studios and Sound Stages, which provided the necessary backdrops and technical capabilities for the show. George Reeves, embodying the dual role of Clark Kent and Superman, brought a sense of strength and reliability to the character that resonated with audiences. Jack Larson's portrayal of Jimmy Olsen offered a relatable figure for younger viewers, while John Hamilton's stern yet fair Perry White added a layer of authority to the Daily Planet scenes. The production's choice of location and casting played a significant role in the series' ability to capture the essence of the Superman saga. We uh, intend to obtain the same information. And if we have to kill... In the 1952 television series Adventures of Superman, the central narrative revolves around Superman's continuous struggle against various villains who threaten the peace of Metropolis. While maintaining his secret identity as Clark Kent, a reporter for the Daily Planet, he frequently encounters situations where his extraordinary abilities are necessary to save the day. His colleagues, Lois Lane and Jimmy Olsen, often find themselves in perilous predicaments, prompting Superman to intervene and ensure their safety as well as that of the city's inhabitants. This dynamic between Clark's unassuming persona and his heroic alter ego forms the backbone of the series, showcasing his dedication to justice and the protection of those around him. The show highlights the duality of his existence, balancing his undercover journalistic work with his public service as the iconic superhero. Superman's actions underscore his commitment to upholding the values of truth and righteousness, making him a steadfast guardian of Metropolis. I thought you said that thing could do anything a man could do. It did this morning, honest it did, Paul. The television series Adventures of Superman, which premiered in 1952, has its roots in the film Superman and the Mole Men. This film served as the foundation for what would become the television series, with its content being adapted into a two-episode story arc for the first season. Despite the constraints of a limited budget, the series captured the hearts of viewers and established a dedicated fan base. The affection for the series was not diminished by the modest production values. Rather, it became a defining characteristic of the show's early days, demonstrating that even with financial limitations, a compelling story and character could resonate with audiences. The series set a precedent for future superhero television shows, proving that such stories could be successfully brought to the small screen and enjoyed by a wide audience. In the 1952 television series Adventures of Superman, the special effects for Superman's flying scenes initially relied on wire work. This method involves suspending the actor with wires to simulate flight. However, following an accident during production, the team responsible for special effects sought alternative techniques to achieve the flying effect. They turned to methods such as springboards, which allowed the actor to be propelled into the air without the use of wires. This change was significant in ensuring the safety of the cast and crew while maintaining the illusion of Superman's flight. The series was originally filmed in black and white, which was standard for television programs of that era. As the series progressed, it transitioned to color filming, which marked a new phase in its production, offering a more vivid and visually engaging experience for viewers. The shift also reflected the technological advancements in television broadcasting at the time. Being is you're talking yourself into a condition that just doesn't exist. In the television series Adventures of Superman, which debuted in 1952, the production team faced a unique challenge with Superman's costume. The series was initially filmed in black and white, which required the costume's colors to be adjusted to ensure they appeared distinct and clear on screen. The iconic blue and red suit was thus modified, 
The blue was made darker to contrast sharply with the grayscale format, and the red cape was often portrayed in a lighter shade to differentiate it from the suit. Additionally, the series operated on a tight budget, which necessitated a non-traditional approach to filming. Episodes were filmed out of sequence, often grouping scenes that required similar sets or costumes together to minimize the number of set changes and costume alterations. This method of production was a practical solution to budgetary constraints, but required careful planning and coordination to maintain continuity across episodes. It's possible for a person of your remarkable abilities, but I, I just... Oh, now come, Professor. You didn't think I... In the 1952 television series Adventures of Superman, actor John Hamilton, who portrayed Perry White, faced challenges with memorizing his lines. To cope with this, he often resorted to using scripts placed strategically on his cluttered desk, which served as prompts during filming. The production frequently used notable locations such as the E. Clem Wilson Building and the Los Angeles City Hall, which provided a dynamic backdrop for the series' storytelling. These settings not only offered visual authenticity, but also allowed the actors to immerse themselves in a setting that complemented their performances in the show. Will someone please tell me what this is all about? Oh, you're not interested. Look, Jimmy, a dagger and only four ninety-five. In the 1952 television series Adventures of Superman, a variety of production mistakes can be observed, which have become part of the show's history. One such error involved Superman, portrayed by George Reeves, dodging a thrown gun. This action was out of character for Superman, who is impervious to such attacks. It is believed that this mistake occurred due to the involvement of George Reeves' stunt double during the scene. Additionally, George Reeves was known for performing many of his own stunts while wearing a padded suit designed to enhance his physique and protect him during the more physically demanding aspects of his role. These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the practical challenges of bringing the superhero to life on the small screen during the early days of television. How long have you been snooping around? Clark, Jimmy followed you from your apartment, then called me. We just got here when they opened the door, but we heard that you... Then I was going to pull a job. In the 1952 television series Adventures of Superman, George Reeves played the titular role of Superman. Initially, Reeves was hesitant to continue with the series due to typecasting concerns and sought to leave the show. However, he was persuaded to return after the producers offered him a higher salary. His portrayal of Superman became a defining part of his career. Tragically, Reeves' life came to an untimely end in 1959, which was a shock to fans and the entertainment industry. Following his death, the production company explored the possibility of continuing the Superman legacy through a spin-off featuring Jack Larson, who played Jimmy Olsenator. Despite these efforts, the spin-off did not materialize, and the series concluded with Reeves' last appearance as the beloved superhero. Big story breaks. Hasn't he any loyalty to me or to the paper? Didn't it occur to him that we might be interested? The 1952 television series Adventures of Superman featured a range of guest stars who contributed to the show's success. Notable actors such as Claude Aikens, John Banner, Hugh Boma, Chuck Connors, and Dabs Greer made appearances throughout the series. Each brought their unique acting skills to their roles, enhancing the storytelling and bringing a variety of characters to life alongside the show's regular cast. Their performances helped to establish Adventures of Superman as a memorable show that entertained audiences with its portrayal of the iconic superhero and his adventures. Me? Oh no, Dr. Orton. The television series Adventures of Superman, which aired in 1952, concluded unexpectedly but has since remained a favorite among audiences. Its significance and appeal persist as it continues to be a source of entertainment, reflecting the allure and simplicity of television's early days. The series is recognized for its pioneering role in the portrayal of superheroes on the small screen, setting a precedent for future superhero programming. Its influence extends beyond entertainment as it has become a cultural reference point, illustrating the evolution of television storytelling and production values. The show's ability to maintain its popularity over the years speaks to its quality and the fondness it inspires in viewers who appreciate the nostalgia and historical value it represents. Despite the advancements in technology and storytelling, Adventures of Superman holds a special place in the history of television and continues to be discovered by new generations, ensuring its place in the cultural consciousness. Big favor, Rollo. We want you to help us raise a half a million dollars. Half a